So this is just a sharpening 101 basics. So I have a flat piece of glass here. This is to keep one, the paper uh, stuck down here and it's to give me a flat edge. I'm showing how to do it with paper because it's the easiest to get started up. I do have diamond stones here, a really good set. This cost close to $200 for just the three stones there. So anyway, we have this edge here. It's, uh, it's pretty sharp, you can see. I mean, it's, it's pretty sharp, it's not like a razor though. See, it's a little rough. Okay, so let's do some work on this. And first, I'm going to start with some 600 grit. You can get this at AutoZone, Home Depot, whatever. I'm just going to wet the glass, stick that down, and then wet over top of it. And after a few strokes, it'll get pretty stuck. It'll still move sometimes, but this method isn't ideal, but it definitely gets the job done. So I'm going to feel for that flat edge and just drag it. And you see it's taking the rust off. And I want to keep it super flat. That's the name of the game here. You don't want to, with a hand chisel, you want a little bit of camber on it. This is for a wood lathe. So I want to, I don't want any camber at all. This is just a specialty knife here. So, wipe it you can see we got clean metal back for the most part I'm gonna do a couple more passes and you can leave the rust and the metal shavings on the paper because it it helps speed up the process by giving more abrasives in between the paper and the metal Really simple. It just takes some patience. I find it enjoyable. Okay. So we got Mama, it pretty. We got it pretty clean, and it's a little bit sharper now, but. Well, we gotta jump it up. So this is 1500. And you can put like a spring clamp or something to hold this if you'd like. I find that this, just putting a finger on it. See, without the finger, it will move a little bit. So, you know, it doesn't take much, but on a, on a chisel, it's ideal to have two hands on the blade. You really want to get the pressure and, the, and keep it steady flat. <clears throat> this is a wood turning knife. You can hear the difference when you when you lift it up too much you'll hear more of a scraping so you want to hear like a gliding so now we've we've got this edge 
a lot sharper. And we're going to go up to 2,500. And you can go all the way up to 6,000, whatever you want. But honestly, like 3,000 is is razor sharp. Like you don't need to, to go crazy with it. Increasing the pressure now to make sure I stay flat on my edge because now we're really starting to, to focus on that point and we're creating a burr on the edge of the blade and you want a nice even burr At the end of each paper, I flip it over and just do one pull, one last pull on the other side to get rid of that burr before the next stage. This is 3,000 here. Just wait, lift it straight up. Lift it straight up. For the moment video. I'm just mostly doing it for a buddy of mine. We literally just didn't plan this at all, just started making this video. So and if I spent more time on the first and the beginning grits, then you know it obviously is, is less work on the finer grits. But again, this is a quick video. And I don't know if you could see that. I mean, it's almost like a mirror. I've, I have gotten them to where they were exactly a mirror. So anyway. Now I have a stroping leather and I'm just going to charge this up with some compound. I just rub it a couple times. Don't go crazy with it. And this will just get rid of that burr and uh, Just do like 15 or so on each side. You can do 30 on each side. You can do 60 if you want, but you don't need that many. 20 is, 20 is plenty. And this is just really gonna polish that edge. I'm putting a lot of pressure and even pressure on this part. And you can get uh, this leather and a compound on eBay or something for like six bucks or Amazon. And I just grabbed the old, like, this was a, a tool I haven't used in a long time. And it was a really bad edge just to show you how quick you can get it from a rusty edge. And just flip it one more time, do one last pull. And she's pretty done there. Now it really polished up on the edge. You won't be able to see it. I'm filming with an iPhone. GoPro coming soon. And you can see. It's much sharper. 
I can just super sharp. So that's that.